Hi everyone and welcome to my scrappy space. I am so grateful that you guys are here to see how I organize my enamel dots and some of my embellishments. So please make sure that you check out everybody listed below. They have some great ideas, tips and tricks, and I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to see how everybody stores their stuff. So come along and I'll show you my storage solution. going too far I want to show you the two containers that I do use so first off I have some things stored in this plastic container these are from Harbor Freight Janet from Love RTS told us all about these and I'll show you more detail in a minute the other thing is is I store most of my enamel dots in my little box here that has some decorations on it and I didn't even think about this but this has dots on it. How convenient. And that lives over on my shelf over here. I'm gonna do some rearranging today because I think I came up with a better solution for my sequins and also and some of my other bling. So one of the things that I decided to do is I have a drawer unit that has three of these. And on the very top drawer, I have little mini stamps, little hearts, little stars, and that type of thing. And so I really like those in there. And these have pretty much been empty. And so I thought, you know, these I don't utilize because they're over in my closet. And I am finding more and more that I kind of need to have my stuff around me to be able to use it. So, sorry, you can hear some snap in here. Because these things, when they store, they store, they are closed. So I'm going to take these sequins out. And I'm going to put these in here and they'll fit perfectly. So let me just get going here. And I do apologize about the glare, but unfortunately, this is all pretty shiny stuff. Now, these are some brads and some rhinestones. So I'm going to put those, let's get this all lined up here. So I'm going to put those in here and these are some little leaf rhinestones that are just gorgeous and I really want to use them. So I'm going to put those here and the great thing about this is I'll just be able to pull this little drawer and look at it's light even when it's full, I think it'll still be super light. And here are some metal pieces. I'm gonna put that in this one. And I have so much more room to grow. Now, I can't stand having little bags like this. These are some little brad things. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop them in here. I'm gonna put them in that one. Now, these are some super old metal pieces with some brads and these are absolutely adorable this is a paper clip I'm gonna kind of push these out a little bit this is a buffalo a tree so some of these are camping here's wildlife I think there's like three of them but I'm not gonna worry and fret over all of them so but look at that campfire isn't that cute stove and then here this is the dog one I'm gonna put all of these ones right here I think the hearts go with the dog some little paw prints a bone and a little house here's a bear look at these little footprints <laughs> Those are so cute. Those need to go on a layout, guys. And then here's the camping. So yeah, I think that's how it goes. So there's five, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And then the rest of them I'll put in that. So let's go ahead and get these put in here. And I'll just be able to take this out 
and I'll just be able to pop it right in my little page kit. And it'll be super safe and contained and won't lose anything. Yeah, Janet's husband picked these up for her at, at um, Harbor Freight and they're such a great idea. Great idea. Sometimes the guys have really, really good storage stuff, I'm telling you. I wonder if they would work better. Oh, we, we won't even mess with it. I was gonna say, maybe they'll, because they don't work all, th all three across. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the wildlife ones in here. So as I continue to go through my room and I find other things, other sequins or other, just different embellishments that are very similar to this, I will go ahead, pull these out, and then I will put them in my little drawer unit. I think I will access them more. So now let me show you how I have my enamel dots. This is how I have my enamel dots stored. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these out because I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of rearranging with them. So I have cut them apart and I have put them in colors. So hold on one second here. I'm gonna empty this puppy out. So I won't cut all of them up I'll just cut like the enamel dots. And right now, for whatever reason, I wanna keep these as they are. So what I do is I will cut off the top and usually just put a staple because I don't care for this packaging. I don't know why, I just don't. And so, but I wanted to show you, and I know there's probably a lot of glare and I do apologize. So I have some puppies here that I keep. Here's one that needs to be broke down. I do keep my photo corners. Um, I just do three and then I have the rest in a surplus. And if I want four, I'll cut four off. I'm not, I don't mind doing that, but I just need to keep these kind of up front and in my sight. Here are some, see I only need one package of these up here. And what I usually do is if I almost always take them out of this package. And if I don't, I'll usually just cut up the side like this and pull them in and out like that. But almost always, I will pull them out of their package. And then I'll just take my tiny attacher, staple that. My tiny attacher is in the living room and I don't want to open the door because my dog will come in. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad, but it's true. So anyways, that's what I do with those. I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I wanted to show you how I'm gonna break the rest of these down. This is gonna go into my surplus. So as I was going through these, one of the things that I do not care for is that you can see through them. So what I did is I cut a piece of paper. This is just a little bit shy of a five by five. And I cut it out of this flimsy paper just to see if I would like it. And I've decided that I do like to have the paper. I went ahead and cut some five by five and this is that Nina cardstock, and I buy it in bulk. And yes, it's a little bit of a sacrifice, but it's okay. This is something that will be permanent. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Sorry, that was out of frame. Slide that in there. And I put these in these CD sleeves. And the size of this that I cut is just a skosh shorter than a five by five. And then I do like the ones with the lip on here because I just fold it back and then that keeps it nice if it falls or whatever. So the great thing that I like about this is I can just pull one of these and throw it in with my page kit. Or if I wanna just play with blue and browns and I'm gonna go make page kit at my bestie's house, I can grab this whole thing and it's not like I'm trying to take all of these with all the different colors. So this is what I like to do. I first saw this idea from Nicole Jones. And I wanted to show you that when you cut, I used eight and a half by 11. 
and you're gonna have some scrap. But to me, these are frames. These are frames for um, my project life. They're frames for photo matting, whatever. These are great for labels or any kind of scratch paper. This I usually just leave in my top drawer over here. So nothing goes to waste. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you again how I I'm going to see all of these are backwards and that's the other thing if one of them pops off I still have it now this one that popped off here I can tell you exactly what this one is from this is from the Gina Marie designs these are beautiful 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 enamel dots but these matte ones here you go they pop off and I would have probably lost that had it been just you know, random <laughs> hanging out there somewhere. So I do like having these CD sleeves for that reason. Now, what did I just do with that one? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I just slide that in there. And then I just take my enamel dots and I just slide them in. And I just cut them. I'll show you how I cut them. I'll show you how I, I know it's, Pretty simple, but sometimes just seeing the process done, it's kind of nice. So I will do that with each and every one. See that little enamel dot popped off again? So I think I'm going to put some tape on it. Sorry guys, stick them on there. There. And that's what it looks like. And I try not to get a whole bunch in here because it gets too thick. And so I'll put them in a surplus that I have. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these. I'm gonna put you on fast forward and I'm gonna go through the rest of these, okay? that there is some glare and I do apologize yet again but I wanted to show you how I'm going to cut that I need two more one for my pink and one for my white so here's my eight and a half by 11 I'm just going to come in just a scant less than five inches whoops did not cut that all the way through then I'm going to do it again at just a little less than five so here's my strip that I can use for labels or whatever, just to make notes on. That'll go in here. It's amazing how quickly I use those little strips. Then I'm gonna cut it again. Here's either a photo mat or a journaling spot. Here's one of the pieces that I need. And here is the other one. So then I will put these in a little stack that I will use later. And then, you probably noticed that I was dumping these out. And why I was doing that is I wanted to make sure that this flap was in front so that I could tuck it. And so I had to empty these out and make sure they were in the correct way. So then I just pop these in. And making them a little bit smaller, it helps you as you bulk up a little bit with the dots, that it's not so tight. So here is my white. And the thing that I love about this is I now know how many white I have and how many pink I have and green and all of the various colors. 
so that if I see, you know, if I'm doing an order or something and I want to say I just need a couple of dollars to get to, you know, free shipping or something like that, I can come in here and say, oh, you know what? I'm really running low on white enamel dots or something like that. And I can see what I have. So that is really nice. But I think the best thing about doing this is I just got to go through all of my enamel dots and I have some beautiful, beautiful colors. <laughs> I think that's the thing that's blessed me the most. <laughs> okay, now this pink one is a little full, but we're just going to go ahead and fill her on up. I should probably not have done them as much. Put as many in but see some of them are almost a variation of purple and but that's okay i think pink is very prevalent with enamel dots i do i do so the reason that i see there's just the loner but I, it's not lost it's not lost because it's in there and then i try to keep them forward so that I can see what colors, but I don't have a problem with dumping them out and looking either if I can't find what I want right off the get. Okay, so I wanted to show you also, so see, that's pretty stuffed. So I know that I probably should not be putting any more enamel dots and that I should be using them a little bit more but so that's why I haven't broke down like these ones or any of these. So I'll put these in my surplus. And then I've also decided, thank you, Joanne, that I do like these little crystal ones. I had all of these in my blessing box and I am pulling them out now because I realized that I really like them. And these ones, have various colors all over the place so I can't do the light pink and you know dark pink so I just took one of those pieces of paper and I just glued the acetate to it I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna store these yet still figuring it out ah now I'm stuck here I guess I'll just pop them in to the same thing They're popping off a little bit. These are super, super old. Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. There we go. And this bigger one. So I'll probably just go ahead and put some tape down there, put them on, and I'll probably go ahead and get some more CD sleeves. The reason these are sitting out is because I just received these and I want to play with them. So um, I want to keep them, you know, in the front of everything. So I just popped them in here so that I can see them. So that is where I store my enamel dots and also my sequins. There's only one other place that I do have just a few and they're specialty and it's in my top drawer here. This is a Spiegelmann scrap one, and I just found this in my Christmas stuff, so I put it in here, and this is a Pink Fresh, and so I wanna keep this separate for Pink Fresh Fridays, and if you guys haven't seen that series, you gotta go check it out. And then this is a Felicity Jane, and it came this way, and since there's so much little stuff, I just kept it in that little drawer. And this little drawer sits right over here. Okay, guys, I wanna thank you so much for coming and joining me. Please go check out all the participants listed below. This is such a fun hop and I have learned so many tips and tricks about organizing and just going through my product. I am just having so much fun with my goodies. I hope you guys have a super amazing day and you're out there making some memories. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.